It's week two of the 2024 season, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Rams and the Cardinals, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 25. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home opener at 1-0. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, they come into this one after a loss in the opener, and they're in for another tough test here. And what a battle for an organization to look at your schedule and see two road games to start the season and not have a letdown immediately. If you got to fight against that, they've got to come out ready to play. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. And a quarterback, a longtime signal caller in the National Football League, former Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes. And make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test his secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. First carry for James Conner. And not the start he was hoping for there as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. And that's it. Now a second and ten. Here's Flacco. Short throw underneath to Hurst. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try to run for it with Connor. Pushing his way through. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Well, I'd have to say in that situation, they're lined up for a running play. It's only third and two. Some element of the pass, but that was really well blocked. Probably call those gravy plays, right, if you're the offensive coordinator? No doubt about it. All you're trying to do is get the two yards necessary for a first down. Then you look up, you've got a whole lot more than that. Yeah, they did. They got a lot more than that indeed. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Ball on the 39. Here's second down at seven. Operating off play action. Flacco looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Cardinals force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. So here come the Cardinals now for their first drive. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And he's coming off of a truly remarkable rookie season where he quieted a lot of his doubters in a most emphatic fashion. Remember, going into the draft, many thought he was the number two quarterback coming out of college. He proved quickly he was a top quarterback going into the NFL. One of the best rookie seasons by a quarterback in recent memory. And what's scary about it, he's not even close to reaching his ceiling. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And down he'll go at the 25. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. 
Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and ten. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And their opening drive, that ended with the interception. Fortunate, though, it didn't lead to points. It didn't lead to points, and because they kind of got away with one, maybe you come back and throw something similar again to show that you're not afraid, that you're not going to back down, and take your shot. Let the defense know that you're going to be there all game long. Flacco looks to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. And the penalty helps, but not a whole lot. It's still third and long. Flacco. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard because their quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing his second interception. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Now early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Now a second and six. Up the middle with Barkley. Shifts by him. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. And Stroud now to throw. Smith and Jigbo with the grab. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the Rams' 27 yard line. Stroud. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing now is Stroud. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cardinals use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook. Not just the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses. Also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. And he's been loose with a football early. Interceptions on the first couple of drives as they start again here. We'll see if he can do better, first and 10. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. 
You look at this Arizona defense. Now, they've been a very good unit against the pass, defending at fifth best in the league. And, hey, they were stingy in the opener. Didn't allow much of anything at all through the air. So now they come into week two saying, hey, let's see if we can do even better. Let's try to get to that number one spot. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. From the gun, Flacco. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Flacco fakes the give, sets to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And that's where you're counting on a receiver's size being an advantage. They were hoping he could go up the top of a smaller DB and haul that one in. A good thought, but that time it didn't work out. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Here's Flacco. Finds his running back, James Conner. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. So much about offense is what you call hitting the yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD, and it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far, finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. The Cardinals offense and running back Saquon Barkley ready to get going again. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Neutral zone infraction defense. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go, and he jumped a little bit too early. Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. Play action. Here's Stroud. And he's got Smith and Jimbo. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. They'll try the right side here. Barkley. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Again, it's Barkley. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Stroud. He finds Smith and Jigba. And he's going to be taken down. But there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports.
Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Stroud to throw it. Caught on the slam. A gain of seven that time, second goal. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now receiver in motion left. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Barkley. And he's going to be shoved back short of the goal line. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Here's Stroud. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Jarnell Mooney from a yard out. And the Cardinals are able to stretch out their lead. So this offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. And that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen, but this offense, they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And not much doing on the return. Good coverage there. Going to stop him in his tracks at the 15-yard line. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Passing play. Flacco. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It's a gain of six. First down, Los Angeles. On first and ten is Connor. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. To pass, Flacco. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 28. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Flacco. And it's a fumble. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Flacco. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now it's Flacco. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. And again, it's Flacco to throw. This one into the hands of Burton. So he stopped for no gain. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass 
supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Oh, a good look at return set up here. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They were winners a week ago against Buffalo, and they lead here with a first and 10. Stroud looking to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Barkley inside handoff. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two at the 42-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Stroud. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And third and eight now. Well, his completion percentage continues to rise with that one. But sometimes you want your completion percentage to go down. Maybe you should have thought about throwing that one away. I was just going to say, it is easier said than done. But that's where you may be buried at his feet. Make sure he doesn't catch it. Great, great call right there. Put it near the receiver. No grounding, nothing like that. But no one gets a chance to pick it off either. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. And a penalty, a big assist to this offense. Now it's third and three. Looking to throw. Stroud, work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Cardinals at 1-0 on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to get that road victory in the opener. Now they look to get to 2-0 in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good three for four thus far. Here it's third and two. Back to throw. Stroud. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Koo knocks this one through the post. And that will extend their lead here to 17-6. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And able to break this out all the way to the 38 yard line. Great return. LA readies for its next possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and eight. Setting up to throw, Flacco. 
And this one complete to Burton. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half, but this was a good one. And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward, and they pick up a first down. Flacco from the gun. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Play action. Flacco looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Connor. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. A third field goal in the first half. Not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Flacco. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Here's Flacco. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Connor. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Now Flacco. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Flacco looks to throw. Got an open man. It's McLeod. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on four. They're going to try it. Here's Flacco. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Back to throw here. This is caught. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. They go pass again with Flacco. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. Third and goal, Flacco. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Nelson Aguilar in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. The quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee, and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. More from you and Charles in a bit. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here in the late window. We'll get started down at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Baker Mayfield, three touchdown passes as his guys moved to 2-0 on the young season. From there, we head up to Wisconsin to check out the Packers at home in Lambeau. 
and they were victorious in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Geno Smith, three touchdown passes as his guys bounce back from the defeat on opening weekend. watched a very good first half out of the Ohio State man, C.J. Stroud. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here's the Cardinals' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Well, now hang on here because Saquon Barkley is in some discomfort, so we're going to have a pause here for an injury. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Again, it's Foreman. And this one also slow and developing as he's maybe getting back here to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Back to throw, here's Stroud. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Yannick Ngakwe drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. The Rams offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Operating off play action, Flacco. Throw left side complete. That's counter. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Here's Flacco. Is to the sideline and incomplete. Nearly intercepted, in fact. But he couldn't hang on. Fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. 31 yards on the punt there. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches... Don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. 
They keep it with Barkley on first down. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 69 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And Stroud now to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. A give to Barkley out of the gun. About three yards there to the 27. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's going to be brought down. He needed to get to the 20, but he's a yard or two short. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll run with Barkley. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. The drive will start with Connor, and he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And a penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. Still second down. And now they face a second and six after the penalty. They're going to look to throw. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. They run behind center with Connor. He'll get this to about the 38. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving. Now a hit, and Flacco drops the football. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Following the fumble recovery, Stroud, and incomplete. They started this drive backed up against the wall by the turnover, but I love their fight, planted their feet, and forced the incompletion on first down. Stroud. Devontae Adams, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Devontae Adams with career touchdown number 96. He joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Cardinals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Coup now for the point after. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Well, 
that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory excellent field position two plays later pay dirt following the touchdown here's coup to kick off and he won't quite make it to the 25. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And this group has suffered far too many self-inflicted wounds thus far as we run through some of the mistakes. It, it's darn near impossible to win in this league when you're turning the ball over at the frequency that they have. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Five yards, now it's third and five. Passing play, Flacco. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Agnew now to return. Oh, look at the juke. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Cardinals, great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. Stroud to throw it. On the out route, this is Adams with a catch. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Stroud working out of the gun. Smith and Jigba with a grab. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A big play that time on the catch and run. 33 yards. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. Throwing now is Stroud. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Devontae Adams with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game, as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Rams offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Now Flacco. This complete left side to Aguilar. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Flacco. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Hassan Reddick. Able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of 15 yards all told. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. 
Connor up the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Now it's Flacco. That is caught and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. To pass, Flacco. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 31-yard line. Setting up to throw, Flacco. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Burton. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. Once more, it's Flacco. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now Flacco. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. Only able to gain a couple there. And that will bring up second down. Here's Flacco. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Here's a handoff to Connor, and he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. Call it a gain of five, fourth down now. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Now McManus will line up for the field goal from 28 yards out. The kick by McManus is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it, and as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Cardinals offense and C.J. Stroud getting ready for this next drive. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but... Maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Here's second and ten. A handoff to Barkley. Oh, spinning away. Saquon Barkley. Touchdown, Cardinals! Saquon Barkley, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cards are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. Oh, 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Flacco looks to throw. Completes it to Aguilar. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Now a third and six. They fake the handoff. Now Flacco to pass. He's going to let this one go deep. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They're going to try it. Here's Flacco. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. Then the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. The home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as we roll through some of the highlights, we see how crucial he's been to their success in this one. When he's in this type of a groove and his offensive linemen are creating running lanes for him, he can really put on a show, and he's done so here. Stroud off the play fake. And complete to Smith and Jigba. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pick up there, a 22. Here's Stroud. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Dalton Kincaid from six yards away. And the Cardinals are on their way to a 2-0 start. So, Charles, they are well on their way to a 2-0 start. Now, last week, they had the close victory. This one more commanding, much more comfortable. Well, the sense we got from them was that last week they felt like they didn't play their best. They got the win, but they weren't really on top of their game. But they put it all together here in this one, haven't they? What an impressive, impressive performance. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Flacco from the gun. Again, that's Hurst. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. An eight-yard pickup. And the Rams first down. Flacco. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Second and ten. Flacco will take to the air again. Under pressure, and Flacco's going to be dropped. Hassan Reddick picks up his second sack of the afternoon. 
But when this game is done, the credit will go to the consistent pressure on the quarterback as a huge cause of this win. Most teams are happy if they get a few of these games per year. You know they're going to watch this tape over and over, try to identify what's working, and keep it going. And the Cardinals, they trot out their dime package for third down. Here's Flacco. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Ray Ray McLeod, 70 yards. And the Rams get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know just get it to me and the rest was all up to him and he delivered and made it a three score game oh did the Rams get it yes LA football set to begin their next drive the Rams offense at the line well this game it has had no shortage of offense they've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side Charles they just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. From the gun, Flacco. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Here we go, fourth down, fourth quarter, Flacco. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Operating out of the gun, Flacco. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Passing play, Flacco. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Cards are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals and as we look back at how we got here you'll notice a common theme in these highlights a lot of yardage through the air the passing game has been sharp right from the outset ready to go with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense and after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, Barkley to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down 158 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks here's first and 10 they'll run it again with Barkley and he's down right around midfield after a gain of two maybe three Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through, 
No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still second down. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Cards, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Rams, they'll drop to 0-2. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.